Well, hello YouTube. Objective in this tutorial will be to get ASCII values for all characters inside the C array. So let's roll with that char. That's original data type for original, let's say, chars. That will be name of our array. We will not limit ourselves when we talk about uh, amount of stuff we are going to put there. And for simplicity reasons, we are going to use A and B and the C for example and also same stuff as a lowercase because a little bit later when we check this stuff manually in ASCII value table it will be easier for us. So we do have our elements basically this is a string and now the question is how you're going to extract uh, the full size of this. Well we can use integer here as a data type but um, better option will be to use size size t because this is like a return type of size of function we are going to use so let's give it some kind of name like a size of original chars let's say that will be name of it and how we are going to get it well we will use size of function and now we need to target this big array and split it with the size of individual first let's say element here this is how we are going to get the number of elements here that we need to use down there in a for loop right so size of original chars but for first element i mean for zero index right Okay, here we can also use int, but uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. Now, let's establish uh, x, that will be integer x, starting point, and uh, this x must be smaller, basically, than size of original chars. So this is like a top level when we talk about number of these elements, because, yeah, we can use here manually six uh, because we can count them, but what if you have hundreds of them? So that's kind of stupid. This is why we use this stuff right here as uh, end result of this operation, using size of function. So that's uh, one thing. Another thing, we will use x++ plus plus here because we don't want to skip any of these elements. So x equals x plus one. And in here, we're just going to roll with the printf and a little bit of custom rep report ASCII value for now we will grab those real elements because it's nice to see them in a in a in a end report and we'll connect that with ASCII value which is integer which is d. Let's go to new line for every of these elements and now we need to target all of them using their positions and this is why we roll from zero up till some top level here right so what is the original uh, array i mean name of it it's original charts and here we're going to put x because this x represents any of these in a moment of for loop when it's rolling around and also absolutely same stuff for percent %d. So this one is for percent %c placeholder and this one is for percent %d. And guys, that's pretty much it. That's how we get stuff. Right, uh, let me test this. Let me test this to see what's happening. And uh, there you go. We do have some kind of table. And uh, now let's, let's check it like manually. Right, uh, uppercase A. Uh, where is this thing? Okay, right here. 65. Do we have 65? Yes. Then B and C, 66 and 67. Okay, 66 and 67. So this thing works. And A, B and C, small, lowercase, where is A? Uh, okay, 97, 97, 98, 99, 98, 99. Right, so this code works. It's very simple, but it works. It gets the job done. So this thing is also, it can be used if you, for example, use here some kind of string. So we're going to put this in the comment section and copy paste it pretty much down there. Original charts, uh, charts will uh, remain and here we are go just going to use string like um, test, okay, just a test for four characters to see will this thing basically work now. 
Okay, there you go. So we have some kind of result. Let me let me check that. So test was the original thing, and uh, T is one one six. One one six. There is a T. Uh, e is one o one. Where is he? Uh, okay, one o one. And S. Where is S? One one five. And again T, which is one one six. And at the end we do have zero, which is just uh, which is just the final thing uh, that you don't see basically, but it is it is there. This is how you end uh, strings in a C. So pretty much this works for um, for uh, single characters and for strings. It, it depends w what you want to achieve here. Okay, what I was talking about right here, size T. Well. Because we use this in for loop, we can change this to int, and will this work? Uh, okay, let me test that. I'm gonna now put this into comment and revert to original situation. So okay, same result. So that will work. And if you ever run into some kind of problem, uh, if you need to switch this thing, whatever it is, in a in an int, well, right here you can just say this type of bracket normal brackets and int and also this will work this will work right so there you go absolutely same results so this is just an, some kind of note uh, you can pay attention to it but yeah in both of, of cases you know what what's happening here you can use int here also i think it will work right because at the end of the day these things are just integers Oh, right, so this is for T. Now the T is activated. I mean, test. Well, it will work. It will work, definitely. Okay, guys, so that's it in this tutorial. Relatively simple stuff, I think. Uh, there is a, some amount of code you need to type in C in some other languages. It's uh, easier, easily done, for example, in Python, but this is not Python, this is C. So there you go. Well, thank you for watching, as always, for sharing this and uh, with other people who maybe don't have uh, money for co uh, courses and something like that. You want to help them, you want to help me. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in a couple of minutes in the uh, next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.